This is example two then of our constant acceleration question. So let's take a wee look at this one. A little bit more complicated, but we should be okay. Should be able to work it out. So a time t equal zero, a body is projected from an origin O with a velocity of 10 meters per second. The body moves along a straight line with a constant acceleration of negative two meters per second. Find the displacement of the body from zero when t equals seven. So it starts here, which is zero, and it heads off this way. Uh, at 10 meters per second the acceleration is minus 2 so it's a deceleration of 2 what that means is every second it gets 2 slower so after 1 second it's going to be going at 8 after 2 seconds it's going to be going at 6 and so on now something weird happens here because t is 7 so it's going to be then going there, actually the other way because of the minus 2 so it heads off this way gets slower and slower and slower and actually it's going to end up coming back this way but it's up to you to be able to spot that and see actually what's happening in this particular question so let's go for part a find the displacement when t is seven so see if we can see what three pieces of information we know here so we have u v a s and t u is 10 v we don't know because we don't know its final velocity we don't know its velocity when t is equal to seven acceleration is minus two and t then equals seven so we are looking for displacement which is going to be s so we have u a s and t uh, so we're going to use then s equals u t plus a half of a t squared s equals 10 upon 7 so it's 70 plus a half upon minus 2 upon t squared which is 49 so s is 70 take away 49 our displacement of them after 7 seconds 70 take away 49 is going to be 21 meters so that means after 7 seconds we are 21 meters from here so we're here now we've gone past that and come back I hope you can spot that it's quite hard to see that but that's where we're going all right Let's take a look at part B. How far from zero does the body come to instantaneous rest and what is the value of T? So, as we said, it kind of heads out this way and it gets slower and slower and slower until it hits rest and then comes back this way. So it just instantaneously stops um, and then kind of comes back that way. So we need to find that point there. Now this UVAS is no good to us because this is a UVAS that tells us whenever it's come out here and come back to here. So that's that point. So we need to do a new new vast for this. U, V, A, S, and T. U is our 10. V we do know because it's come to rest. So that means our final velocity for this particular journey is going to be zero. And our A then is minus two. And we want to know how far it is. So S is the one we're looking for. So we want one with U, V, A, and S in it. So we're going to use v squared equals u squared plus 2a s v squared is 0 u squared is going to be 100 plus 2 upon minus 2 upon s hopefully we're okay with that so 2 times minus 2 is minus 4s i'm going to take this over to this side so that's 4s is equal to 100 so in that case s is going to be 25 meters so how far from o does the body come to instantaneous rest and what is the value of t so s is 25 meters we also need our value of t so we're going to do p equals u plus a t zero equals 10 minus 2 t do you see what i've done there zero u is 10 and our a then is minus 2 so it's minus 2t that gives me 2t is 10 and that gives me my time then is 5 seconds so i now have a reasonably good picture of what's going on here i hope you do too it'll help us in with part c which we'll come on to in a week second find the distance traveled by the body during the time interval t is 0 and t is 5 so here's what happens here this goes all the way out to here until it hits 
the 25 meter mark so it goes all the way to there and hits the 25 meter mark after five seconds and then it comes back until it hits in the 21 meters mark and that's at seven seconds and it's up to you to be able to work that out that's quite complicated it's a tougher one quite often they're just going the one direction it's a car going one direction that's all totally fine just use you vast and work it out this one's a wee bit tougher so what's happened find the distance traveled by the body during this time so it's gone from here to here which is 25 remember it's distance now if we were asked for displacement after seven seconds how far is it from a stern position it's 21 but it hasn't traveled 21 meters it's traveled from here to here which is 25 and then back to here which is 4 so then sorry you can't see that no. so total distance travelled equals 25 plus 4 which then is 29 meters Find the distance travelled by the body during the time interval t is 0 to t is 7. So between t is 0 and t is 5 goes 25 metres, and then t is 5 to t is 7 goes 4 back, but we want our distance, so we don't worry about that, so it's going to be 29 metres.